Hey folks, today we're diving into some big news about Tesla's autopilot system. A recent test in Germany has raised some serious questions about how safe this technology really is. Let's break it down. So, picture this, a German court asked an expert to check out Tesla's autopilot. This wasn't just a quick spin around the block. The tester drove a Model 3 for over 400 miles, really putting the system through its paces. Now, you'd think a fancy self-driving car would breeze through this, right? Well, not quite. During the test, some pretty scary stuff happened. The car did some weird things, five times to be exact. Four of these, the driver managed to fix by taking control. But that fifth time? That's where things got really dicey. Here's what went down. The Tesla was cruising along at about 85 miles per hour on the fast lane of a highway. Suddenly, without any good reason, it slammed on the brakes. We're talking a major slowdown, dropping to about 60 miles per hour in no time flat. Can you imagine how dangerous that could be with other cars zooming up behind? This sudden braking caused a real mess. Other drivers had to swerve and brake hard to avoid crashing. It was so bad that the tester decided to call it quits right then and there. They felt it just wasn't safe to keep testing on public roads. Now, folks, if you're finding this info helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We've got lots more interesting stories coming your way. Let's talk about why this matters. Tesla's autopilot is supposed to make driving safer, not more dangerous. This test shows it might not be as reliable as we thought. It's especially worrying because Tesla made some big changes to their system recently. Back in 2022, they decided to ditch radar and ultrasonic sensors, going all in on cameras. Some experts weren't too happy about this, saying it might make the system less safe. This isn't just about one test drive gone wrong. It's part of a bigger picture. There's a legal case going on where someone is suing Tesla over their Model 3. That's why this test happened in the first place. The court wanted an independent expert to take a look. Now, let's put this in context. Self-driving cars are a hot topic right now. Companies are racing to be the first to get fully autonomous vehicles on the road. Tesla's been a big player in this game, with their autopilot system being one of the most well-known. But here's the thing, when it comes to cars that can drive themselves, even a small mistake can be a big deal. We're talking about machines that are responsible for people's lives on the road. That's why tests like this one in Germany are so important. They help us understand what's working and what's not. It's not all doom and gloom, though. These kinds of tests can help make the technology better. By finding problems now, engineers can work on fixing them. That's how progress happens. Still, it does make you think. How much should we trust these systems? Should there be more testing before they're allowed on public roads? These are big questions that don't have easy answers. For Tesla, this is a bit of a PR headache. They've built a lot of their reputation on being ahead of the curve with self-driving tech. News like this could make some people think twice about trusting their autopilot system. But let's be fair, no new technology is perfect right out of the gate. The first cars, planes, and even computers all had their share of problems. The key is learning from these issues and making things better. So, what does this mean for you if you own a Tesla or you're thinking about getting one? Well, it's a reminder that even with advanced tech, you've got to stay alert behind the wheel. Autopilot isn't a replacement for an attentive driver, at least not yet. As we wrap up, it's worth thinking about the bigger picture. Self-driving cars could change the way we travel in a big way. They might make roads safer, reduce traffic, and give people more freedom. But getting there isn't going to be a smooth ride. There will be bumps along the way, like this test in Germany. The road to fully self-driving cars is long and winding. This Tesla test is just one small part of that journey. It shows we've still got a way to go, but it also helps point out where improvements need to be made. So, next time you see a Tesla on the road, or any car with self-driving features, remember this story. It's a reminder that the future of driving is exciting, but it's also complex. We're all part of this big experiment in some way. Keep your eyes on the road, folks, whether you're driving or your car is doing it for you. Stay safe out there, and keep watching for more updates on this fascinating world of automotive tech. Until next time.